back to the Lagarde Ecosses podcast with me, Dr. Christine McKenzie. This is a short five to ten minute podcast for those of you intrigued about the origins of the historical fiction novel series Lagarde Ecosses and its characters. Today I will talk about the origins of the novels and reflect upon my own background and how it shaped my writing. I will then reflect on the personality and physical traits of the main character John Hamilton and who inspired him. It was back in 2016 that the idea for the novel began swimming in my head when Britain was heading towards the referendum on Brexit. I wanted to stay within the European Union, but unfortunately that was not to be the case. I was brought up in the oil and gas industry and met many different people from many different cultures and different backgrounds. In the late 80s and 90s, Aberdeen was a bustling cosmopolitan hub. There were several schools that catered for many members of the oil and gas community, and expatriates had a significant presence in the city. There were multiple schools in the city which offered a wide range of international qualifications. There was an American school, frequented by US-born citizens. There was a Dutch school and a French school. I went to one of the oldest established schools in the city and had classmates who had Flemish, American, Canadian, Swiss and French parents. It was not unusual for parents to come into school and have conversations with their children in their native language. Out of all these international connections, the Franco-British connection was the most dominant. Family and friends have worked for French companies, and in the mid-1990s my godparents were transferred to Paris for work, and that is where the origins of the novels lie. In the summer of 1994, I flew to Paris, I had a wonderful time and saw many of the familiar sights of Paris. However, our nearest major tourist attraction was the Palace of Versailles, and I remember my first visit vividly. I was awestruck by the beauty and splendour of the palace, which is clearly what Louis XIV had always intended. More than three centuries later, the Sun King's propaganda had a deep effect on me. I became interested in the reign of the Sun King and devoured many books on the subject. It continued and expanded my passion for 17th century history, which had begun some years earlier with Oliver Cromwell and the Civil Wars. Versailles holds so many wonderful memories for me and my family, as we used to go there regularly, and we used to visit the gardens and the farm located near Marie Antoinette's hamlet. And as such, Versailles will always be a very special place for me. Now that I've talked a little bit about the background of the novel, I will now say something briefly about the origins of the main character of the novel, Lieutenant General John Hamilton. When we are first introduced to John Hamilton, he is a shadowy and intimidating figure. And before we formally meet Hamilton, we know that for some people, the Lieutenant Colonel is a truly terrifying figure. Gaston, the hapless Master Meal Miller, who attempts a rather poor heist, is utterly terrified by the prospect and being reprimanded by the lieutenant colonel. When we meet John Hamilton for the first time, it is through the eyes of Robert Meldrum, who is overcome by Hamilton's sheer physical size. Meldrum describes Hamilton for us, explaining that Hamilton is six foot four inches tall, which, for the 17th century, is an immense height. To put it into context, the Swiss guards who were considered to be Louis XIV's tallest men were to be at least six feet tall. For other guards, specifications were much lower, around five foot five. As Meldrum continues to state, Hamilton had large hands, an exceptionally broad back, large shoulders and chest. We find out in later chapters that Hamilton weighs at least 250 pounds with a muscular and athletic build. Where did Hamilton come from? In 2016, at the time the novel idea began to circulate in my head, I was reading Hamish Ross's acclaimed biography on Blair Main a founding member of the Special Air Service, or SAS, as it is better known. Blair Main was six foot three and weighed 230 pounds, with a broad back, large chest and shoulders, and his strength was legendary, as he is known to have ripped out a large instrument panel from a plane with his bare hands. I decided to create a similar figure as the main character for my novel series. It was important to me that the man who had trained the Free French in special operations in the 20th century should be a major inspiration for the character. The novel series itself, and the book, is a celebration of the Franco-British military relationship throughout the centuries. 
Thank you for joining me for Series 1 of the podcast for the Lagarde Ecossaise novels, and I look forward to welcoming you to Series 2 in the near future. Au revoir, à bientôt. is provided by Ionix Music. This podcast is the copyright of History Gateway Limited, UK.